Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created this employee form and we have created an employee object. So in this video, we are going to see how we can store the employee details in a database. So when the user click the save button, we're going to save the employee details in a database. So let's get started. I'll open the Eclipse ID and uh, I'll go to the employee controller. Uh, we have already written a save method, which we have written in our previous video course. If you haven't checked that video series, the link will be given in the description section. Go ahead and check out this. Inside this, we are going to call the service method and uh, and we are passing and we are passing the employee object to that service method. So what I'll do is first I need to change the annotation to request mapping. And the value would be slash save because if you go to the employees add.jsp for the form we have specified the action is equal to save so when the user click the submit button it has to navigate to the save request mapping so that is why we are specifying slash save uh, in the request mapping so and we are going to accept the form attributes or the form values so the way to accept the form values is by specifying the at model attribute i'll change this to at model attribute inside this we need to specify the model attribute name again if you go back to the employees add.jsp here we are specifying the model attribute as employees the same name we are going to specify in the controller as well so that all the form values uh, whichever the user will enter in the form that will bind to this employee object and we are going to save that employee object to the database by calling a service method so first i need to change this to model and view and inside this i'm going to create a model and view object i'm going to call this mav model and view and we have to specify to which jsp we have to render so we're going to display the employees list jsp because inside the employees list.jsp we are displaying the employees records so employees list and once we store the employee object or once we have saved the employee details we need to refresh the html table so for that i'm going to call the same method which is employees service.get which will gives us the list of employees and we are adding it to the model attribute so let's copy this and i'll paste it right here and we're going to return the model and view object and let's import this let's save this and now i'll go to the employees add.jsp and uh, verify one more time the action is equal to save and uh, in the controller we are specifying the slash save and we're returning the model and view and we are uh, calling the employee service dot get and we are adding it to the model attribute so let's save this and i'm going to run the application the application is started i'll go to the chrome browser and and i'll refresh the web page you can see that uh, right now we have only one record in the database and it is displaying in the employees list jsp so i'm going to add a new employee record uh, let me give my name Bushan male and I'm a development uh, my date of birth is 31st 05 1992 and uh, if you go to the database uh, right now we have only one record uh, let's verify it one more time uh, you can see that we have only one record which is Bharat so now I'm going to click the save button you can see now uh, the database uh, the records has been stored in the database and the html table has been refreshed if you go to the database and let's query one more time and uh, you can see now a new record has been stored in the database so this is all about storing an employee record in a database uh, that's all about this video in the next video we're going to add a delete link just after the date of birth column and we'll see how the delete operation uh, will work in this web application thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you like our video then go ahead and smash that like button and uh, share this video
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग